Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different actually. It's kind of a crazy new frame that I was I was excited about but after getting it and opening it up and checking it out I'm actually lost for words. So let's actually take a look here. So I'm opening this expecting to find some kind of new split level frame with which also, which also gives you a PDB slash VTX integrated together, which is a part of the frame. It looked pretty cool on paper. And um, yeah, so it's called the Nayono T-Rex, I believe. 8.6, I don't know what the 8.6 stands for. But it's a 220 millimeter wheel, uh, wheelbase quadcopter, which is a 5 inch quadcopter. So let's go ahead and open this guy and see what we're greeted with. So you open him up and I'm... In the beginning, I was kind of lost because look what they give you. They give you, I think, five of these. This is servo type connector to USB, and this has nothing to do with this frame. So let's remove these two guys to the side. They're going to be useful for something, but I have no idea what. You get your landing skids. Yeah, that's something nice, something to be expected. These are for the back legs because it is a split level, which means the back legs are up and the bottom legs are on the bottom. All right. <clears throat> we get this. And what is this? Well, this is actually a propeller balancer here. And it has nothing to do with the frame. And it is a prop guard. It's a, it's a propeller balancer. That's it's all this is right here. So let's put this guy to the side. We'll check this out in a bit. And then you get a hundred zip ties in a bag. So, alrighty. And then you start getting the frame parts here. Now, when I was putting it together, I mean, it's pretty cool and all, but check this out. You need to take some consideration here. Let's actually just take a look at the PDB here. So this is how it comes. I have not soldered anything, so they do have some kind of switching regulator right here. And um, the VTX on the back here. And you do have a, I believe, yeah, there it is. MCX port right there. That's nice. So you stick that on. Good, good connection. But where is this going? <laughs> so I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, so let's just remove this. It's just like a slap in the face after a slap in the face. So that's all nice and cool. Let's check this here. This is more parts. And, yeah. So, I did try to put this together. And I gave up. No, I didn't give up because I couldn't do it. I could totally do it. But I was, as I'm putting it together, and I was just thinking to myself, if I had an issue in the field with this frame, how easy would it be to replace something? Or, how, or should I say, how difficult is it going to be? And it is going to be an absolute nightmare where you're just going to say, F quadcopters, I'm going home, I don't want to do this shit anymore. Um, it's that kind of frame. Because even me, just put it together with nothing without the um even the inner board itself um i kind of just didn't want to keep doing it just basically here there's four pieces and you're just gonna have to put a ton load of standoffs and a ton load of screws now you know this is not a really proper review here but this is just my take on this product and i believe that you know that you guys really had to see this because um yeah, some channels might hide this stuff away and some won't, but yeah, I I, I don't want to hide stuff like this away. So this is, oh, this is the whole point of the channel, actually. So also, this kind of goes in kind of, this is the frame, that's it. This is the bottom plate of the frame. So can you imagine? And there's just how many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think around nine standoffs what you have to install in here. And to get this in just right. So let's just take a look here how easy it is to install this. So I'm going to pop these legs off. And as you can see, that, that's how the legs are just holding. That's it. You know, with this and the brute force of the standoffs holding together. Hoping that it's the correct size. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As you can see, I'm already having issues. I'm, that's why I want to do this on the camera. Live. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. And just to show you how annoying this is. So let's try to figure this out. So as we can see here, we have a little split here, and we have these little holes here. So I'm sure that'll stick through there somehow. Here we have these little thingies. Could possibly be for this, so maybe it would go like this. This makes sense now. 
So let's go ahead and see how this goes. All right, this is getting absolutely annoying now. So a frame should not be this um, this complicated or this you know time consuming to set up. So I'm yeah. So I was pretty sure there's two slots right there and these slot it slots right there. Okay. And now we're gonna have to set this guy in like so. And I believe that side's in. Yes, it's in. Now the arm's out. Now I need to put the arm back in. And something's gonna give, hopefully not. Okay, so we got that arm in. And now we have this arm in. So, okay. Now, I don't know about you, but this seems like, I could be totally wrong. Like, it'll have a ton load of oscillation. So, as you can see here, here, there's basically the skeleton of the frame. It looks nice, you know, but, but to be honest, I still really don't know or have a clue where the battery is going to go. Let's take a look here. Let's see what else we find. Okay, we have this piece here. Here are all the standoffs that needs to go in everywhere. This goes somewhere. There's no instruction menu, by the way. And you have a bunch of O-rings. And what is this? Something in here. Alright, so it's cocaine. No, I'm just kidding. It's these little things to protect this thing here. And so what is this? It's supposed to go somewhere. This is supposed to go down here, I believe. Nope, not even. So it does have two whole grooves thingies, but it doesn't seem to right here maybe. So this possibly goes here and it slides in like that. Okay, that kind of makes sense if you wanted to strap a battery. <clears throat> but what we you still need? Okay, your EICs maybe are on the outside and your flight controller in here, and you don't really have much of space for a flight controller. So this was probably like for an F3 flight controller because of the gyro, but I could be totally wrong here. Yeah, and this is for the ESCs to kind of make it easier in a way, I guess. I have no idea. I mean, I would if I just look into it, but this, you know, um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be for a beginner, that's for sure. So... Yeah, they give you nice stickers, so if you like stickers, those are good. And, well, I think we're going to just end it off here. So this is my review, or my take, or my overview of this frame, which I will never build. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys see what was up with this frame here. So, some of you might like this, some of you might hate this. Um, and, to me, I you know it's a personal preference type of thing but i would totally avoid and well that's it guys so that's gonna include it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it or you learned something and that's gonna include it for this video so i will see you next time see you guys take care